Good morning. This is a job I've been looking forward to. All the right gear, Victron stuff, but needs tidying up. It needs blue fixing. So yeah, I've just shown you. We've got 200 amp hour Victron lithium battery. We've got the Multi Plus One, three kVA, a couple of bus bars, a shunt, an MPPT, and one Orion and a Serbo fuse box, and a lot of excess wiring. So we're going to blue fix this. We're going to tidy this up. We're going to add a second Orion as well, so it charges about hopefully close to 60 amps. Adding some more solar as well. Yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of tidying up to do here, so I'm really looking forward to this. So let's get started. So I was just saying, it's all the right stuff, isn't it? It's all the right stuff, and it's actually technically perfect. There's, this is a very actually a really really good install. Good cable sizes, um, done correctly with the right breakers and the you know in the right places. Um, but it's just a little bit untidy and um, and a bit confusing <laughs> because all the cables are black. But we're not going to change that per se. Um, we might put some heat shrink on so we know what's yeah. what. Yeah, so, so it's easier at a glance to know what's negative, what's positive, um, without following cables because it can be quite confusing. The customer wants us to leave room for a second uh, 200 amp hour battery. battery yeah. So we're going to do that. He, he may add want to add a third yeah. Orion at some point if his alternator can handle it, but yeah. um, we're going to fit another a second one today. Yeah. I'm just swapping out some um, some Cirix, um, some old Cirixes with some battery protects. Um, to do a bit of a better job so it's all done by the Serbo GX rather than as it is at the moment through current I think or whatever it is it's doing it's a bit, it's a bit of a strange setup. Uh, it works, it's functional but um well really fix it. Yeah we are. <laughs> This is a very rare shot. What we can see here is Mark doing some work. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. <laughs> um, I'm not working, I'm fast asleep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm? <laughs> Did you say something? Oh, oh, oh blimey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This is where we're up to at the minute. We have the distributor upside down. The distributor comes with a, a, another label, another sticker. So if you do mount it upside down, then you can have a sticker with the right and face in the correct way. I've never done that before, but I did it so that the cables can come out of the top now in, into this ducting and look nice and pretty and safe. This is what Max and I have made. This is where the Orions and the MPPTs are going to live. Again, we've got ducting above and below. So we'll be able to hide all the cables and it'll make it look nice and pretty. Mark started working on the AC stuff, started tapping in the uh, incomer to the Multi Plus. We've got the servo and the, and the battery protect down here. Battery protect's going to be for the load for the fuse box. So you have a feed from the, the uh, distributor to the in and then the out goes to your, to your loads. So you just log into this by Bluetooth, I think it's the Bluetooth version. That's the battery protect. It's going to look wicked. Once we've got all these blue boxes on up here and the covers on, all the trunking, yeah. Let go. Look at this, mate. It's coming together, isn't it? Look at that. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> hell. It's sick, isn't it? And all found cool, just a little bit sexy in there. 